So for those of you who are new here, my name is Chilo and to all my returning subscribers, hi, how are you? What's good? What's popping? I know you've missed me, but I've missed you too. So it's like the feeling is mutual. So without further ado, let's get into the video of today. How I'm comfortable. So whew, it's been a very interesting couple of weeks for me. Um, and I don't know, like a part of me just kind of wants to share a lot of things with you. Like yesterday was the 17th of um, June, which is a year anniversary of the day I had my surgery, my endometriosis excision surgery. And it's been one hell of a journey, you know? Um, I'm grateful and I'm thankful and, you know, I'm always like celebrating my victory and my win and stuff. But I think post one year i think maybe it made sense for me to circle back and tell you guys how life has been for me in that sense health wise you know just in case there's some people who are considering having the surgery or who think they want to have it or what have you and whatnot just to kind of like give you a brief like a reality check of what it's actually like right so for those of you who have no idea what i'm talking about i'm going to link above here um the video of me talking about my health experience and what it is exactly that i'm talking about and i'll also link the story time video of my surgery story um so this time last year i had excision surgery here in our zimbabwe with a doctor called dr georgievic i will link up her details and information in the description box below for any people who want to go and see her um she's not cheap because she is one of the few endometriosis specialists in the entire world and she's the only one in zimbabwe so you know they don't come cheap but she is necessary if you do have endometriosis or you suspect you have in fact any reproductive female issue going on i would suggest you'd save a lot of money by going to see dr georgia vick in the sense that she she doesn't waste your time she's a sweet woman she cares about her patients and she understands and sympathizes so she's not gonna take you on a wild goose chase nor is she gonna lie to you so um my decision to have surgery came after i had um an mri of my abdomen and pelvis and we, and we saw that things were not working out and so it was the now or never do or die moment for me right and it was also the best decision that i've ever made in my life in the sense that after my surgery it was a success the endometriosis was successfully removed and whatnot right so the picture i had of life like after surgery this time last year the idea that i had that my life was going to be like and what it actually turned out to be water and oil what do i mean i mean um i was thinking when i walked out of that surgery room and i was told it was a success it's all gone i thought to myself yes now i'm gonna finally live a proper life <laughs> well but you know what let me actually not lie and say i don't because i do um it took me about june july august september about five months to be able to start doing things right and i was at a severe case but also i'm also the type of person who i my diet i always had a healthy diet i was a bit active whenever i could be active i tried but like the last few months leading up to my surgery i wasn't as active but then i know my body kind of was it, it it's a bit strong right so it took me so it healed a bit faster so it took me about five months to be able to get up and start doing activities so it took me five months in october i started working out but i used to do home workouts at home for no more than 30 minutes 45 minutes tops and then when i gradually got into doing those in november i went back into the gym for the first time i started using machines so i was able to use them right and i think pain wise definitely post excision surgery my pain changed it went from being like a 50 to like a 10 
nine i if i if i ever felt pain that it doesn't necessarily stop completely because it's after it's been a year and i still do have days where i am in pain but it's not as bad as it used to be so when i do feel pain sometimes you can pop like a panadol paracetamol my and be okay and you just keep it moving for the most part it has granted me the ability to live a normal life i can do everything that other people that i never used to be able to do there's no difference in me living my life and in someone without endo but you do occasionally do kind of experience pain so there is a huge difference in the sense that your quality of life it increases drastically and what else what else can i say has changed the good the bad the ugly so that's in terms of like my pain right and then socially how has it affected me well you know dealing with endo like i think in fact not just endo i think it's like a health thing in general like i feel like anybody who's ever had to deal with like a serious life-changing event will tell you that like socially it does affect you in the sense that um it shows you people's true colors right what do i mean when i was sick um they, not everybody was actually there for me and the people who i thought would be there for me and as understanding as i thought they were going to be, like the people that i thought would be there for me and the people that i thought would understand my situation actually proved to be like not so understanding so it kind of teaches you life a lot more faster and which is kind of good because then it allows you time to restructure yourself so then socially i've been in a position where i guess i've had to like learn what's important and i manage my priorities better and also like i'm not a person who's like driven by um oh no i have to catch up on all the things that i couldn't do before when i was sick or whatever because there was a, a season in my life that things had to happen that way and i'm not going to force certain things to happen for me just because i quote unquote missed out on it or whatever right so so like excision surgery i think let's just i think it, it works i do think it works i think if you if you want to try it out i say go for it so for me excision surgery i think it works it worked if you want to try it out i say go ahead try it out but do be prepared to pay a hefty amount of money um in zimbabwe um the surgeon alone is about two thousand one hundred dollars and then she only operates in like Bardo trauma center or milton park which will cost you another give or take one thousand two thousand dollars and the anesthesiologist i think is about uh, no more than 1.8 or something like that so you're looking at about like and then you'll need extras that come with surgery so you're basically kind of looking at like about seven thousand dollars thereabouts and everything happens so fast that like they wanted cash up front so like and i think the only person who takes medical aid is the hospital i think right so you need to kind of have like your money is all together um emotional support you need to like honestly i think for me personally i i'm in this place and i'm better off for it because of my sisters and my parents they were very supportive um so you do need to have a support system around you that is solid that cares about you and that doesn't judge you or doesn't make you feel bad for sometimes having good days and sometimes having bad days but for me i sometimes i know that i'm healed i completely and unequivocally know that i am healed right because there's no end there's like there's none of it right but there's moments where when i feel a lot of pain i have to kind of remind myself because you know like my body and my mind has been so used to experiencing pain for all these years it it to me it, that's what's normal right so now having to adjust to a new normal and a new reality sometimes is a bit difficult because you know your body doesn't know the difference between 
emotional pain and physical pain right so that's why for some people you find that when you're stressed out you end up with a headache when you are like for me personally when i was grieving or well, i still am but in the beginning when my dad passed away in january i experienced the worst physical pain i was convinced that i had endometriosis all over again but it was just my body dealing it was my body's way of grieving because that was the pain i knew right so like it put me in a place where i'm not gonna lie i felt a little bit embarrassed and i felt like a fraud i had this sense of imposter syndrome where i kind of feel like okay so medically and science wise the doctors say the end is gone they've removed it right and i also believe that the end is gone and it's been removed because i believe in god's power god's healing power and whatever right so then why am i still feeling pain sometimes why do I have days where I wake up and I'm spotting? Why do I go through like super painful moments where in the middle of the night your stomach just wakes up and it's acting crazy? Like it's like I thought at this point you said I was I was supposed to be pain free. I thought they said that once you have excision surgery bye bye pain right so you I sometimes then feel like and because and I remember this time last year when I had my surgery I was all no I'm finally gonna be living a normal life I'm finally gonna be pain free and whatnot now celebrating and was a whole thing and so for me to then circle back and be like uh I still have days where I'm still in pain I can't really go and work a traditional job because of my pain and whatnot it makes me it then kind of puts me in a place where I I feel a lot of shame and I kind of feel guilty for it because it's like I don't know it's very difficult to explain and like sometimes what makes it difficult is then like what I've also kind of had to learn for myself where it's like you have to get out of your own head and also stop listening to other people and pick and choose who you choose to listen to and who you choose to trust with your life and your story because you'll find that some people will think that okay because the doctor said it's gone and the doctor said you won't experience pain and you're not supposed to when you do experience pain if you say it it then turns into no you still want to keep using endometriosis as an excuse right but i'm not lying why would i lie about still being in pain do you guys think it's cool right so you have to just kind of get to a point where you realize that if you do choose to go down this path you have to realize that it's not it's not what it seems like not everything is how it seems and i guess people's bodies react differently um i was talking to a friend teenager she was telling me that she attended some live or whatever or saw a girl who posted a video where she was saying she also had excision surgery and it took her 18 months to actually stop feeling pain i've just reached my 12th month and i still feel pain so maybe in like 18 months six months from now i can circle back and come and tell you guys a different story i don't know but for now i'm not gonna like lie and be dishonest and say i'm completely pain free when i'm not i don't think that's what excision surgery is about i do think that it does 100 percent lower your pain and increase your quality of life so if you're willing to try it for that option and for that reason i say go for it it will work out and you can trust the zimbabwean system provided you have the finances for it but if you're doing it because you don't want to feel pain at all completely then i'm not sure and you need to also be patient you know this journey has taught me to really be patient with my body and myself and to just kind of celebrate the small things because there was all i created all this hype around uh you know when it happens i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna be pain free pain free and then it didn't happen so then it's like okay so you have to kind of take several steps back and let your body be the one that dictates the path not necessarily your mind or yourself right and just give yourself the grace and the time it takes to actually deal with things the way god and life intends for you to deal with them like it's not always kind of a train smash you know what i mean so yeah you know that's kind of been my journey with after excision surgery it hasn't all been rosy but it's been great i can run i can climb mountains i can have fun i can do all sorts of things that i couldn't do before um 
I have better days 80% of the time the other 20% still kind of sucks but it's okay it's not that bad um, so yeah if anybody's looking into wanting to do it I say go for it um, trust in God pray about it and yeah lean on your support system and I guess that's probably all I have to say so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on your notifications and yeah i love you guys like a love song bye Come